In this video, we're going to be talking about Pascal's triangle. So when we're expanding binomials of the form a plus b raised to the n power, we see a special pattern arise from the coefficients of the variables. And this pattern is called Pascal's triangle. And so we see this triangle right here on the right hand side, this little pyramid with the numbers. And we see these are matching with the coefficients of our binomial, binomial expansion. So for instance, when I have a plus b raised to zero power, that's just equal to one. a plus b to the first power is equal to one a plus one b. a plus b raised to the second power is equal to one a squared plus two ab plus b squared, and so on. And something special that happens is that each of these coefficients are gonna be matching up in this triangle. And so even with this last one, and there's a special pattern that we see in this triangle. So if I come over here, I see that from this second row, or from the second row to this next row, that this two is actually coming from these added together. So one plus one, I get two. Going into the next row, this three, I get from one plus two is equal to three. This three is one, two plus one is equal to three. Four, six, four, I see this one plus three, I get four. Three plus three, I get six. Three plus one, I get four. And then for this last one, one plus four, I get five. Four plus six, I get 10. Six plus four, I get 10 and four plus one, I get five. So all of those middle terms in this triangle come from adding the two above it. And the first and last term of the triangle is always just equal to one. So let's go ahead and look at some examples of using this triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and erase these so that we can better see it. So here are the steps to using Pascal's triangle. First, the power of the binomial, or the exponent, is the row of Pascal's, tri Pascal's triangle that you use. And these are the coefficients. Secondly, the exponents of x are decreasing. starting at the power of the binomial, while the exponents of y are increasing, or whatever your a or b is. And then lastly, you're going to simplify all terms. So directions, we're gonna expand each using Pascal's triangle. So first I'm gonna look at the power. I see the power here is five. So I'm gonna be using the fifth row of Pascal's triangle. So looking at the fifth row, that is my coefficients. So I have coefficients of 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. And so here my a is x and my b is negative 2 that I'm putting in. So when I expand this out, my first coefficient is 1. I'm going to take my first term, my x, and I'm going to raise it to the power of my binomial here, which is 5. So I'm going to have x to the 5th. And I don't have my b term. My b term is just going to be raised to the 0. So I can write that. So I have negative 2 raised to the 0. But that's just going to equal to 1. So I can go ahead and erase that. My next coefficient is 5. And now I'm going to decrease my exponent of x by 1. So it's going to be x to the 4th. And then I'm going to take my b, negative 2, and raise it to the first power. And something we see here, 4 plus 1 still equals 5. So those exponents should still actually add up to 5. I'm going to take my next coefficient, 10. 
my x is going to be decrease by 1, so it's going to be x cubed. My negative 2 is going to go be increased by 1, so this can be negative 2 squared. And keep following that pattern. So now instead of x cubed, I have x squared. And now this is going to be negative 2 cubed. My next coefficient now is 5. This is going to become x to the first, and then negative 2 to the fourth. And then I have negative 2 to the fifth. So I see my coefficients match up. I have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. My a term, my x, is raised to the fifth power and then decreases by 1 each time until it's gone. My negative 2 starts at the 0 power, so it's not there, and increases by 1 until it's raised to the fifth power. And now lastly, I need to go ahead and just simplify all my terms. So 1 times x to the fifth, I just get x to the fifth, plus 5 times negative 2, I get negative 10, x to the fourth. Negative 2 squared, I get 4, 4 times 10, I get 40, x cubed. Negative 2 cubed, I get negative 8, negative 8 times 10, I get negative 80, x squared. Negative 2 to the 4th is 16, 16 times 5, I get 80, x. And then negative 2 to the 5th is negative 32. And so this is my answer. So this is kind of handy because doing x minus 2 raised to the 5th power would have been x minus 2 times x minus 2 is 5 times, which would be a lot if we were multiplying that by hand. So this helps us figure out this expansion much quicker. Okay, let's do one more. Now I have 3y plus 1 and I am raising it to the 3rd power. So that means I'm going to the 3rd row of Pascal's triangle which is this one right here. So I have one, three, three, one as my coefficients. And so here my a term is now three y, my b term is one. Looking at this, my first coefficient is one, and I'm just gonna take my first term, my three y, and I'm raising it to the power of the binomial, which is three. My next coefficient is 3. I'm taking 3y and now I'm raising it to the second power. And I'm taking my b term and raising it to the first power. My next exponent, my coefficient is 3. Now I'm taking 3y to the first power and 1 to the second power. And then my last coefficient is 1 and I'm raising my b term to the third power. Now simplifying that out, 3y cubed, I'm doing 3 cubed, which is 27 times y cubed, plus here I have 3 times 1 is 3, 3 squared I get 9y squared, plus 3 times 3 is 9, so I get 9y plus 1. And so to find that last term, I have 27y cubed plus 27y squared plus 9y plus 1.